Um, this is old cam. And this is not a spring chicken today. Oh, I am so excited because today begins our coverage on the Cannes Film Festival, which is from? Uh, May the 16th through May the 27th, 2012. The, and the Cannes Film Festival is known, shall we just say, it's the premier film festival of the entire world that everybody looks to to kind of figure out what films are really going to be making it throughout the year. In fact, I think last year, wasn't the artist, was artist huge was, film at oh, Cannes? Artist was on a roll by the time it got to Cannes. The only thing that happened was is that the only person that didn't get uh, get anything was the guy's wife, which was funny. <laughs> she, I know. She and got she, nominations everywhere. And she, it's just, it's, it's her movie along with, there's a, it's basically two featured people. It was her movie too. Mm -hmm. I think more or less her husband actually wrote it for her because she got a chance to dance and be funny and do frat falls and all sorts of stuff. But um, it's where you get to see, um, I guess they said, uh, legends are made at Cannes. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that you always know at Cannes is that you see very small, you see small independent films. And big, god awful, large budget movies. But the problem is that they tend to favor the smaller budget. I mean, if it's a good movie and made for what money you can find in your pocket, they really love that. I think it's like testing their creativity. Yeah. Right? On a budget? Because they, they really frown on pictures that are that have got a zillion dollars in budget unless that movie is really something important. Mm -hmm. I mean, like for instance, the Jap the Chinese will pump tons of money into an epic movie, mm -hmm. or the Chi Japanese will took like Ron, or, you know, like the Kira Kurosawa were god awful massive movies, and they loved them mm -hmm. because they were all making points, you know, basically condemning modern civilization through an old samurai movie. But, uh, but. Uh, we're going to constantly we're going to tell people like, what's the weather like today in Cannes? The high is 63 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're saying Fahrenheit because we're located in. Yeah. Out of, I, I don't get what, the figures in centigrade. Out of the United States. You, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And actually, that's true. No, they come in centigrade. Get it. They come in centigrade. I can't. I transfer them over to Fahrenheit, but. Um, and it's kind of overcast and yucky. And it's raining. You know, what you really want to do is have an outdoor event with light showers. In know. gowns. Yeah, in gowns, which means it's causing. You know, that, that does not look, uh, well, because the photographers all have to wear tuxes and other things, too. So, and it's not like I, actually, we were going, and then, unfortunately, things didn't work out right for the second year. We actually did have the money to go this time, mm -hmm. the place to stay, but we ran into a problem with what we were going to do because we, for one thing, uh, the go-ahead to go came a day after it was too late to go. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be seeing things done this way, you know, but um, we're, going to be con we're going to be concentrating some of our coverage strictly on the, the six movies that are in competition, which as of a little while ago, I have only five lists. I, they told me five movies are in, I have six on my my official press material, so I don't know what's going on. Mm. So we'll find that out for you when we update you tomorrow what's happening. Yeah, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to tell you, uh, we've got to, uh, uh, we're going to tell you the first movie up, I think, is Moonrise, um, with, you know, let me see, uh, basically, uh, Perry Young Lovers Fleet is in it, New England Town. Is that the opening night? Yeah, this is the opening night movie. Uh, basically, it's got um, Bill Murray in it, Bruce Willis, um, Ed Norton. Um, see, um, you know, a lot of you know a lot of big name types are in this movie, folks. And it's uh, but um, here, here's the funny part about things is that what do all of the six movies that I currently have listed have in common with the movie Dark Shadows? What? <laughs> they all together they cost as much to make as the as the movie Dark Shadows did. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I got another one. I mean, okay, this is Matthew McConaughey's year for Christ's sake. He's in a movie at the cast. He's in Magic Mike too. What movie is he in? He's in Mud. Mud. Yeah. I guess he's been busy. Basically, uh, two teenage boys encounter a fugitive and form a pact to help him evade the bounty hunters on the trail. But it's got, um, you know. Uh, this one comes on Saturday the 26th, which mm -hmm. is coming up the end of the festival, which that's an important part. Um, that is really at the end of the festival, because the festival ends the 27th. Yeah, but it said basically what it is is reminiscent of Huckleberry Finn. It's got Re oh. Reese Weatherspoon involved. Wow. See, um, Matthew McConaughey, 
you know, um, and it's it, it's it's going to be. It's, it, they said it's Matthew McConaughey is mm -hmm. in a reformation of his career, mm -hmm. which I thought is sort of funny. Mm -hmm. But um, okay, we'll give you that next. Ed. Uh, we've got On the Road, which is basically uh, this one. This one's a really this one's a this is the biggie in the movie. He's got a twenty five million dollar budget. That is a biggie because I mean when you think of independent films, they don't have a twenty five. Well, some of them do. Yeah. But you know what I mean. I mean that's a small budget for a, a bigger movie, but yeah, that's well, a really large budget. But for it's already been sold. AMC Networks is guaranteed it's going to. They bought the rights to the thing already, and it's got. Uh, and that means it's really hot then if they've already sold the rights. Yes, it stars uh, Garrett Hedlund, Sam Riley, Kristen Kirsten Stewart, and uh, Kirsten Dunst. Um, with Danny Morgan, Alice Braga, and Viggo Mortensen. Viggo Mortensen. Yeah. That's why it's already sold. Because Kirsten Stewart, as you know from the Twilight series, they just came out with Snow White and the Huntsman. Yeah. And that just premiered in but London. But she's going to have like four movies out Morten. this year, but she's at Cannes. I think the big deal with this one, if I'm right, she, uh, okay, I can't be certain, but I think she, she gets naughty in the movie. Well, Kirsten Stewart and Rob Pattinson are both supposed to be at Cannes. Yeah. So, but uh, that one, you know, I don't have the play date on it. Um, what do we do? Um, I've got Lawless now. Lawless? That sounds yeah, like a basically, this is another weird movie. Follow the Ghost. It basically, uh, it, it, this one's good. One. Uh, it's basically, it's, it's on Saturday the 19th. This is when this movie's going to be playing at Cannes. But it's got uh, uh, Tom Hardy, Shay LaBeouf, Guy Pierce, and Gary Oldman in it. They've got some, I mean, these movies that they're putting out have some pretty good actors. Now, yeah. Guy Pearce, um, what was it, won the, was it, was it the Emmy? Yeah. Yeah, for uh, Mildred Pierce. Yeah. Right? Gary Oldman was up for last year for the spy movie. Yeah, and this has got to do with bootlegging and brothers that find themselves in trouble with the law. Mm. So, the, and, and Tom uh, Hardy was also in the Oscar run too. Remember the movie he was in? Yeah, uh, the uh, fight oh, movie. Yeah, the fight movie with Nick Nolte. Mm -hmm. So um, I know Lawless, Moonrise, Mud, Killing Them Softly, which is. Uh, and you want to say with my song? Yeah, that's only got um, you know uh, this one basically. It's got Brad Pitt as a as a as a hitman. Really? Yeah, basically it's. Um, it's an adaption of a, of a, most of these things are all adaption of books this year, which is sort of funny. It's an adaption of the book by a guy that wrote Clint Eastwood's Big Hit, Coogan's Bluff. Mm -hmm. And it stars Brad Pitt, Ray Liotta, uh, James Galafino, Richard Jenkins. So, and it's got a big, budget. it's been, you know, for a movie, it's got 18 million. Most of that probably was, I'm guessing it's Brad Pitt's company, would be my best guess. Oh, uh, could be. Yeah, Which this mean, is this good. Uh, yeah, this one. Wait a minute, is this the second one of his? No, yeah, no, this is. Oh, this the, is the. This is the this guy. Is the okay. we're talking about. This is the the. Uh, this is from the same people. This they all said they've already screwed up one movie with Pitt where he played Jesse James. Mm -hmm. They said that there is no buzz on this movie, so they think they're screwing up a second one. Ooh. They said you try to find anything about the movie. Mm. It's very little. That he's playing a basically. Uh, 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 you know, an enforcer, and the enforcer is kind of, he's there after something went wrong, so why did this do this to me again? Mm. I don't know. I'm having computer problems, folks. So then I think the last movie, though, which is The Paper Boy. Oh, no, that one's getting a lot of buzz, you said, because of Zac Efron? Yeah, and it's, it's going to play the 24th of uh, May in Cannes. Well, and Zac Efron just came out, didn't he just come out with a movie? Yeah, um, but... In the theaters. Yeah. Yeah. But here is the, which actually did well for Zac Efron, but here's the big thing about it. Right. Listen to the cast list. Zac Efron, John Cusack, Nicole Kidman, Scott Glenn, and Mr. Matthew McConaughey. Two films in competition at Cannes. And he also has Magic Mike coming out. Yeah, but it's the Cannes two. thing. That's it's two, the Cannes. Two He's got two Cannes? of the six American movies in competition That's are Matthew McConaughey's. Okay, that's a real big deal. I think they it's said, a Matthew McConaughey year. What they said that this is a resurrection. They said what he is, he's he's cleaning up his act and returning to an actor again. Oh, well, God. like, okay, Matthew McConaughey movies don't make any money. How the heck he continues, gets hired. 
I don't well, remember. He does look awfully good. Well, I know, but that <laughs> no one comes to see the movies, so but. Um, but I, that's like some other actresses too. Yeah. He, he, he is easy on the eye. But he, um, and Nicole Kidman. I, I've seen some of them. Nicole Kidman basically is playing a real slut type character. She wears skirts that basically are non-existent, and and you know. It basically, she it, she's playing a bleach blonde bimbo. Well, it'll be good to see her because she's a very good actress. Yeah. So, and we haven't seen her in it. Well, yeah, but they and say, we've never seen her in a movie with Matthew McConaughey yeah. or Zac Efron. I know. But they, uh, basically, it's about a movie of uh, uh, Jack Efron. Uh, Zac Efron is drafted in to help his brother McConaughey investigate the possible wrongest conviction of a man on death row. And... Um, and no, Cole Kidman plays the woman that basically is hung up on the guy in prison. So, at this one, basically, actually, this is, I understand, the movie that has the buzz, but it's still listed as 60, 16 to 1 yeah. of making it. Because they said what it does, it condemns the United States massively. You know, our system where we execute people for crimes, well, they. You know, and, but see, the, re, the, you know, we won't get into it, but the fact, folks, the United States, if you get sent to life imprisonment, it means you can be out and you can be out on the streets the day after tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If you're in jail for, if you basically got a death sentence, you at least stay in jail for about a decade or more. Uh -huh. So but what happens is in foreign countries, if you sentence to somebody to life imprisonment, they stay there. Not in the United yeah, States. Yeah, their system's a little bit different than ours. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to be doing, like this is, we're going to be doing commentary. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing our commentary on Moonrise because it's the first movie opening. And the, the tricky thing about this is, you see, well, it's opening Wednesday the 16th, and you're doing this on the 14th. They're way ahead of us in time. So right now, it is evening mm -hmm. in France. So they're still about a day and a half ahead. So if we do it tomorrow, it will be by the time you get to see this, you get to you get to see our doing our our, our critique on the movie. It will have already played. Mm -hmm. We're going to be late. <laughs> so, but uh, you know, you know, if you got anything else to add about what we're doing, well, we'll keep you updated as we find out more information. But oh, the March to film. The March to film is also there. We also do have some people that are going to be having shorts. Oh yeah, we got. We know. We know some people. Actually, here's the bad part. Today we're getting the invitations to go to the things that we needed to go, get the invitations a week ago at this time, mm -hmm. because um, then it might have made a difference. We might have. We might have swallowed because then we got to run three thousand dollars more to go than. Figure. Mm -hmm. It's expensive if you don't push the button at a certain time, and we just simply got to go ahead to go a day after it was too late. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be seeing us do our coverage this way and hope that you like what we're doing because it's not going to be the standard coverage you're going to get. Mm -hmm. You've got to learn about what goes on because I, I, have ac I have access to all the material. That and more. I can tell you about the movies that people that we know are going. We can give you nice, we can give you nice descriptions of those movies. So I guess until next time, this is Old Cam. And this is Not a Spring Chick. And we're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow and for more information. You can go to www.montybubbles.net on the net or www.newsvideoweb.com. And wherever you watch it, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And follow us along during the Cons Film Festival because we will be updating you daily as to what's going on. And it's not just what's coming out of the festival.